Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to do my November favorites for you guys. It has been a while since I've done a favorites video, so I have a lot of stuff. I also have a lot of random stuff. I'm going to give a full disclaimer right now. Some of these products are so random and they don't really have a rhyme or a reason, but I've just been loving them, so I wanted to share them with you guys. So without further ado, let's just get into the products I've been loving. So the first product I've been loving, I mentioned this in my last makeup tutorial. This is the Milani Conceal Perfect 2-in-1 um, foundation and concealer and this is a shade creamy vanilla in case you guys are wondering this is very yellow and base though so don't base my color off of this color because I do mix it with something else but this is a foundation that I have used before in the past when everyone everyone was talking about it on YouTube everyone loved it I went out rushed the store I bought it and I was so disappointed I hated it like it was gross it made my skin oily which I don't really produce oil at all and it broke up all around my nose and my t-zone area it just looked very broken up and like you could see the oil of my own skin coming through and I was so confused why everyone liked it I did not like it at all and I just recently tried it again and I don't know if it was just the time period that I used it in back then or if my skin was just acting weird that week that I tried it or whatever but I have been mixing this with my Maybelline Fit Me and I love this. This is what I'm wearing today. I just think it makes your skin look so airbrushed. It lasts all day long. It does allow my skin to kind of produce oil, which is really weird because I don't know what would cause that. But the oil looks even more beautiful and glowy and just healthy. And I just have been obsessed with foundation. Like if I don't wear it, I feel so weird. I just seriously love this foundation. So run out and go buy it because it's awesome. And it also comes with a pump. I'm so sorry. This is so dirty. It comes with a pump, which I love because I just squirt it on the back of my hand and then mix my foundation in with it. And I just love it. love this foundation. So good. Second product that I've been using is this Essence Pure Nude Highlighter. And in the pan, I don't know. That doesn't really look so impressive, right? Like it just looks like a little shimmer. It's not like a blinding highlight or anything. It's what I have on today. And it is the prettiest thing. It is so pretty. It does create, like you can barely even see that, right? But on your skin and using a brush, it produces the most natural highlight. There's no glitter in it whatsoever. It's so, like, ah, I can't even express what it is. It's so good. Do you see this like on my apples and my cheeks? Like it just gives your skin the most healthy shine to your skin without looking glittery because I hate highlights that just, you can see the glitter sinking into all your cracks and everything. So, so good and this is only like five dollars I will say though I had to look a lot of places for this because it is always sold out at my Ulta so I finally saw one and I'm pretty sure someone was hiding it because it was in the very back like underneath the little shelf but I found it and I was like okay sorry about you I'm so sorry but I, I've been wanting this forever the products I've been using is the Maybelline instant age rewind eraser dark circles concealer and this is in the shade neutral this is another product that I tried at first I saw it on Tati's channel and I absolutely hated it. I thought it broke up really weird around my eyes and I didn't think that it covered my dark circle so much, but I have been recently using this as well. Whenever I don't use this product, I constantly just see my dark circles and I feel so awkward without it. So I have been loving this. It really brightens underneath your eyes and covers at the same time and it's just so affordable and just such a good product. Next thing I've been using, which I've talked about in every single video as well, but I just want to come and make sure that I like really give it the hype that it deserves, is this Flower Beauty Cosmetics Zoom In Ultimate Mascara. I'm pretty sure we just had an earthquake. I think I just had an earthquake. That was scary. I did not like that. I live in Oklahoma and we've been having so many earthquakes lately. I hate that. Okay, anyway, back to the makeup. This is the Flower Beauty Zoom In Ultimate Mascara. I've used this now for a few weeks and I, I cannot use any other mascara. Every other mascara does not compare to this. It's what I'm wearing right now. I think it just totally lengthens and volumizes your lashes. And it's one of those mascaras that's a one-stop shop. You don't have to use different mascaras to get what you need out of it. You can totally just use this one. The thing that's so cool about this that I really love is that the bristles are straight and then you can turn this little knob over here and it curls up which is supposed to provide you with more volume. And I also really recommend brown mascara if you have blue eyes or green eyes. I think that it just makes your eyes look even more blue or even more green. Just totally adds a soft 
accentuation to them rather than having black which sometimes can look really harsh against your eyes I love this mascara and I cannot use anything else totally obsessed with it and then moving on to some lip products I recently recently I recently tried my very first Maybelline lipstick I've heard about these and everyone raves about them but I just never like really died for them I guess so I had to purchase one for this little production thing that I was doing with my school I loved the color so I just figured I might as well just go out and buy it because I'm gonna use it again probably these ugh. first off that color is so beautiful but the formula of these lipsticks are crazy incredible I typically do not like lipsticks I have a ton of MAC lipsticks that I never even wear because they're so drying on my lips and I constantly have to reapply them and I just feel so uncomfortable all day like is my makeup messed up is my lipstick messed up these are so good you cannot feel them on the lips they don't bleed around the edges these are like the only lipsticks I really like in a lipstick form that I can deal with that I can put up with that I don't feel self-conscious wearing I don't feel like things are bleeding everywhere I don't feel like they're just they're just not a hassle at all I love this this is again 435 plum perfect and then I went back and bought two more colors and this is coffee addiction 780 this one is my favorite I've been using it so much because I really was in the mood for a brown and this is a true warm brown it's that color right there oh another thing is the smell of these are so good it smells like sweet tarts or something it is so delicious every time I put them on my lips I'm constantly smelling it they're really good but I wanted a true brown color and that is that it, they do have like a sheen to them they're not matte actually I think some of these are matte but they aren't matte they're super comfortable on the lips you don't even feel them and they give a lot of color payoff in one swipe they they're so pigmented and then the last color that I picked up is 765 gray over it gray brown it it looks more brown but it's really not it's definitely gray, cool tone, brown. I just thought it was so unique and so cool. I think that they are really affordable and really good lipsticks. So I've been loving those. This is the Essence XXXL Shine Lip Gloss in the shade Big Night Out. Right on my lips right now. And I really think it makes your lips just look super glossy and full at the same time. The glitter, but whenever I, I apply it to my lips, I don't see glitter. I just see a lot of sheen, which is what I want in a lip gloss. It's not sticky at all. That is a huge thing for me. I hate sticky lip glosses where they like create little strings whenever you open your lips. It drives me insane. So this does not do that at all. This color in particular, there are other colors of course, this color in particular kind of gives you a holographic look because it does have a little bit of pink and purple and a little bit of silver reflex in it without looking like an alien of course but it does create kind of a holographic look on your lips which I'm really into I love it another product is this thing this is so weird but I really have been using this a lot so I do want to mention it this is just a little pad that I got to clean my brushes so I just poured a little soap on it get my brushes wet and then swirl them on this and there are other things out there this is just the one I have and I've just been really enjoying it I do my um, brushes more than just using like my hand or something I really have seen a difference all the makeup will be completely out of my brushes and they'll be like perfectly clean which I'm very excited about this is just the brush egg I actually got this in a set of all my knock off artiste brushes that I got off of Amazon this came with it and this is maybe the most exciting part of that whole thing because it just cleans my brushes so well it makes my job 10 times easier and I just am very excited about it love it so I just want to mention this if you are possibly thinking of any other brush cleaner that is along the lines of this I just think it would do such a good job and this is something that I totally have been enjoying and recommend to help my skin I have been using this natural nature well clinical retinol advanced moisture cream the thing i like about this is the retinol in it i have used other retinol creams like the neutrogena wrinkle repair and any retinol product just helps my skin so the main purpose of this is just retinol for me i find that it turns over my skin it helps with any acne blemishes i get a lot of tiny tiny little white bumps on my chin area just from foundations and products like that and whenever i use a retinol product i don't see any of that it really pulls them off from to the surface and just helps with my skin overall so if you are struggling with little bumps like that I recommend a retinol product but be careful because my mom has used that product as well and it does give her those little white bumps so if you are not struggling with something like that I wouldn't recommend it just because it might be too harsh on your skin and I think that's what happened to her but for me it works so perfectly it's almost like a chemical exfoliant to me 
in my opinion because whenever I do use physical exfoliants like a scrub or anything it pulls up all my dry patches it makes my skin look worse than it did to begin with so using something like that to overturn my skin more quickly really helps my skin in the long run and I've been noticing a huge difference since I've been using that and it's just a product I've been loving. Moving on I actually have a few accessories that I picked up at uh, Forever 21 and I'm very excited about them. These are little mittens. I love them. I love mittens. They're so cute. But anyway, the thing that I think is so cool about this is a string. I was like, what do you do with a string? I don't know. Do you tie it around your neck? Like, what do you do? My mom informed me. Thank God we have moms, right? She informed me that you put this mitten on and you put the string up your arm, across your back, and you put the other mitten on your other arm. And you put like the string in your jacket so that way if you take off your mittens, they'll just hang right next to your arms. So therefore you don't lose your mittens, which I just think is so cool. I got these for uh, like $2 on sale for Black Friday. I think I got these mittens for $2 and I'm so excited for them now that it's finally getting a little bit cooler here. We actually have a football game next week that's supposed to be really cold and rainy. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and take these with me. And I'm just very excited about them. So Forever 21, has really affordable mittens and I'm so excited about them and I'm really excited about this cool string. Another thing I picked up from Forever 21 is this cute little headband hat. I really got this as like ear warmers because you know ear warmers sometimes can look a little weird but I feel like this will keep my ears warm but also it's very fashionable and just kind of cute. Kind of looks like a turban. I don't know. My colors for my school are cream or crimson and cream. So I feel like this matches my school theme and I'm also probably going to wear this as a football game because I feel like it's going to be really cold and my ears are going to be freezing by the time I get there. But I picked up this at Forever 21 and this was on sale for I think $2 as well. And I just really love it. I'm very excited about it. It's just a cute little headband hat. They had a ton of different colors so if you don't like red, then go check out some other colors. I just think that this is such a cute accessory and it makes And then my last thing I wanted to mention was a song that I've been obsessed with. I literally have been listening to this. It's on like my YouTube playlist right off the bat but it is a song I heard before I knew who sang it or anything and I was like oh that's Miley Cyrus like for sure but it is actually Noah Cyrus which is just cool to me I think it's, it's just fun that she's coming out with her own thing but it's called make me cry but it's Noah Cyrus's first single so I'm just going to play it for you guys and I just have been really loving it and I learned to play it on the piano too because I've been so obsessed with it I'm gonna fast forward. <laughs> but anyway, that is another song that I've been crazy about, so go check it out. And that is it for this video. I hope that you guys enjoyed my favorites for November, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.